Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Well, it's July 10th and we've got the iPhone App Store. Let's go and take a first look. So here's my iPhone, my original iPhone, with the 2.0 operating system newly installed. Now in addition to the regular icons and a lot of web icons that I've added there, I also have some new app icons. These are ones I've downloaded from the iTunes Music Store using iTunes. But I also have an App Store button right there. So I can actually access all the apps over Wi-Fi very easily. And here you see there's names and icons of lots of different apps. And I can go ahead and select one. And I'll get a description of it and a Buy button. Let's go ahead and buy Super Monkey Ball. Now that I've gone ahead and purchased it, it takes me right back to the screen and I've got an icon here for Super Monkey Ball and there's a little status uh, progress bar inside of it and it says that it's loading. So I just have to wait for it to finish loading up. While it does this, let's take a look at some of the other apps I've downloaded. One of course is Twitterific which is a very popular Mac and PC program that allows you to access Twitter through an application not a web page. And sure enough there I have all of my different Twitter friends and what they've been up to. And I can go ahead and add my own right there. And I can tweet right from the phone. I can also add a photograph from my photo library to it very easily and specify the location I'm at and it'll update my Twitter status. This is a free application that you can get from the App Store. Let's say I've also downloaded a bunch of other free apps you may want to get right away. Uh, there's a Google app which allows you to basically search on your iPhone as well as on the web. And it's kind of similar to the Google Desktop. There's also an AOL Instant Messenger client right here, which could be a really great substitute for using SMS messages if you don't want to pay the extra cost to AT&T. I also found an eBay application for searching eBay. I found a ebook reader application. I was going to flip through pages and a Facebook app and also an app for Jot and what will probably be one of the first downloaded apps for most people, a remote control that will allow you to control iTunes on your Mac through your iPhone. All right, now that Super Monkey Ball is downloaded, we can run it. One of the problems I already see is the apps are too expensive. A lot are $10, some are even more, and some that should be free are charging a few dollars right now. There's a lot of apps out there and I think developers are going to have to get a little bit more reasonable on the prices or find other ways to monetize them. Otherwise, they're not going to get very many sales. Here's a little app called Band that allows you to basically use your iPhone as an instrument. So expect full reviews of some of these applications on upcoming episodes. Also, later today we should have something about Mobile Me, and then tomorrow we'll be covering iPhone Day from all sorts of different angles. So stay tuned. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.